So what exactly is free? Hey, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to talk about the concept of free when it comes to products and services and the different categories of free and what that means. So the first category that I see, it's rather annoying. It's the not even close to being free free. And that would be, let's say there's an internet service and they advertise, oh, two months free. And to get the two months free, you have to pay for 12 months of service. That's not free. Free means without cost, without paying money, without paying anything, really. This isn't even close to it. If I am paying for 12 months of service for something, it's not free. It could be included. It could be 14 months for the price of 12 or, or something like that. But it's not free, and I think we should have a different term for that type of offer. Now, the second type of free I find rather annoying. Uh, you'll see it often on the internet. You can get my free ebook. Just sign up for my mailing list and then confirm your email address, and then I'll send you a link to the PDF. You see this a lot. And while technically you're not giving money for it, right? You are giving a verified email address and that's worth something. They're going to spam you. They're going to sell your email address to a whole list of internet marketing groups. And that's annoying. That's not free. You're giving up your email. And that's worth something. That's worth actual money. And if you're giving something that's worth money, it's not free. I don't think this term is going to change. I think the marketers now own the word free, and they're going to use it in this manner. But I would really like a way to distinguish this type of free from the third type of free. You get something, a product or a service or whatever, and you pay nothing. You don't give your name. You don't give your email address. You don't give your phone number. You give nothing. None of that is expected, but you get something. That's actually free. I live here in Portland, and in the summer they have free concerts in the park, free films in the park. Last summer I went and saw La La Land at a park, and it was beautiful. They had a huge screen, and they set it up with the projector and the sound system and the whole thing. And you just show up, you bring your snacks and your flask and uh, <laughs> Uh, your picnic blanket that you spread out, and you sit down and you watch the film, enjoy the film, and then you go home. They don't collect your name. They don't collect your email address. None of that. It's actually free. And I think that there should be a way to distinguish between actually free and all these phony, fake kinds of frees that we see. I don't know what the right term would be. Free is a nice, short, one-syllable word. I don't think we're going to be able to reclaim that from the marketers. I think that's gone. But there should be a way to distinguish between these different types of free. The third free, where it's actually free, you give nothing in return, it's uh, like no strings attached free. You know, that could be a stringless free or a free stringless or I don't know. There could be a term for that and I would like to hear what you think an idea for that could be. If you have an idea, let me know in the comments. A lot of times I'll see an offer for something that is free, and I know that it's not really free. I know that they want my information. They want something in exchange for it. And I don't even bother to hear the whole thing because it just, it just bugs me. So for years I've been using fake email addresses and fake phone numbers because I don't want to give businesses my real email address and my real phone number. I know what happens. They sell it to other companies, you get on lists, and then all of a sudden you're getting phone calls in the middle of the day trying to sell you cruises and things like that. So I guess what my question is, is there a term that we can come up with for something that's really free where you have to give nothing in exchange? I'm looking for a term and I haven't been able to figure it out. So if you have any good ideas, let me know in the comments. Peace. You can help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers by clicking the like button and subscribing. Thanks.